Hi everyone. Today we are going to talk about people who have dual SIM mobile phones with at least one eSIM while the other one is a physical SIM or both are eSIMs. And you are looking for an answer to your question whether the physical SIM should be a primary number or the eSIM should be a primary number. eSIM technology was popularized through iPhone and later on many other mobile device manufacturers. But especially after Apple 13 phone devices, you have the option of keeping multiple profiles so at any point in time only two will work. In this video, irrespective of whether you are having a physical SIM or eSIM, by primary number we mean to say that this is the number that you use most of the time for your calling facility or internet browsing. And primary number is the one that belongs to the place that you stay most of the time and this number is shared with your friends and family. We are going to discuss three scenarios today. Let's look at the first scenario when you have primary number as your physical SIM. If you are somebody who is a frequent international traveler or somebody who is always looking for affordable internet without the need of any external device other than your mobile phone, people who would also fall into this category would be digital nomads, the remote workers or the solo travelers. The beauty is without going to the physical store, you can buy these packages online, you can compare the prices, the size of the packages, the validity of the packages. And once you are done with the using these packages, you can delete them. Nowadays, we are getting also lots of options from the sellers where they are selling the packages in the name of Europe, Asia, Africa. So what it means is basically using the same package, you can access these internet on your device without having to buy any other package. So it works in many countries. So in the first way, you retain the primary number without the hassle of taking it out from the physical SIM slot or being in the queue to buy the packages or face the language barriers to understand the package. Coming to the second scenario when your primary SIM is your eSIM and you do not have the option of adding any more eSIM, then you have to look for a physical SIM store and you have to go through the hassle of opening the SIM card slot and inserting a new SIM. Also not much option of on the spot comparison with other physical SIM card options or like the online data eSIM options. I definitely don't advise this option to the travelers. Most of the local physical SIM cards for travelers have a set expiry date, but most of the data eSIM plant have pop-up options, but good to check with the seller before buying this. And deleting the primary eSIM to access a temporary data plan on your trip is not an advice that I'll give. The third scenario is when you have multiple eSIM profile possible on your phone. iPhone 13 and above model give you this flexibility. And now when you go to the market, check with your seller if they have the option of all eSIM or with a physical SIM and choose based upon your preference. If you already have a device that has a physical SIM slot, then look for the scenarios 1 and 2 that we discussed. If you have multiple eSIM options available on your phone, then your screen will look like this. If you check the screen now, there are three plans that are added. But as of now, only primary and the business are on. The personal profile is off because only two profile can work at a time. And the labels against which no SIM is mentioned don't have any cellular plan associated with them. When you want to turn on your personal profile, go and click on it. You will see a pop-up on your screen asking you to turn off the primary or the business. Go and click on the business. After this, you can see there are two profiles still active. One is the primary, the other one is the personal. But don't forget to toggle on the data roaming on, on the personal profile. This is how you will do it. Also go and check in cellular data, personal profile has been selected. I would like to conclude by saying that if you have multiple eSIM profile possible on your mobile phone, then you can juggle between these multiple options and choose any two. But preferably keep the primary eSIM profile active all the time. In case of one physical SIM and one eSIM, use your physical SIM as your primary number while you can leverage on the flexibility and affordability of eSIM for your secondary connection. You can check our website for eSIM data plans and if you have liked the video, do subscribe to us. Thank you.